do a quick little video here on uh, how to assemble your pistons and rods. This is a pretty easy task, but I figured I'll just do it as part of like my whole engine build series. So <clears throat> when you get your pistons, they'll come with like rings. Um, this, is a, this is your oil rings um, with the spacer here, um, and then your two compression rings, top one and the bottom one. Here's your rod, of course. Um, I'm running Eagle forged rods. And then your piston. Come with some retaining clips, you know, and the wrist pin. Um, tools you're gonna need. This ring expander makes things super easy. So I suggest getting one of these. Um, and some engine assembly lube and that's pretty much all we're gonna need to do this okay first thing we're gonna put on is this ex this spacer as they call it and um, I don't know if you can see this but um, I mean always follow the instructions that came with the rings but the spacer they've specified that these ends should butt up like that when you install them and not like that. So just make sure if you're using y Sico pistons that your oil spacer is like that. So put that on first. Okay, um, you know, just kind of make sure that the ends are all dandy wherever they are. There they are. Yes. Okay, now we can put on these two. Um, I'm going to put these on my hand just because they won't really fit in my expander, but it's no big deal. So just be careful if you do it by hand. Alright, and then we got to do the the top one, same thing. Alright, so now the oil, two oil rings are on. The next one up is this bottom compression ring. Let me show you something. Now we're going to, we're going to use the expander for this. Just be careful because this can happen and it did happen to me so luckily I had a bunch of spares but be careful when you're using the expander um, you know stuff like that happens and then ruins your day um, with these oil rings um, there's it's gonna tell you an instruction which way to orient them Wysico said to look for a mark on the face and that mark should go up so for the 240 um, for the KA, there's a little N for, uh, at the end of this ring, so that N has to go up. And if you look at the bottom of the ring, there's like a beveled edge, and that bevel should be facing down according to their uh, instructions. So, put this in your expander, and then slowly expand this ring and put it in the groove that needs to go in. Be super careful, you don't want to break your piston ring. Alright, so that's in. Now all we have left is this upper ring. Same deal, look for the mark. Um, that mark should be facing up, 
so all right and the rings are installed now there's a certain way that these you know openings these ring gaps have to be oriented that it also tells you in your instruction manual but I will go over that when we actually install these into the engine. Um, so the next thing up is to actually attach this piston to the rod and then we'll pretty much be done. Alright now, first step to connecting this piston to the rod is going to be putting a retaining clip on here. Um, so get some assembly lube. And just pick a side um, and put some assembly lube in here. Okay. Now put your retaining clip in here and the way I'm doing this is the side that's open um, kind of just push that in first. Oh, crap. Okay. So push that in, and then as that slides in, you just gotta push the back in, and it'll just snap in place, and then you can't even really see it. Alright, so retaining clip is in. Now we're just gonna have to lube up the rest of our parts. to open packages when you have assembly lube on your hands. Okay, here's the wrist pin. And I just you know don't no need to be stingy with this assembly lube. Just get it everywhere. Alright. Now you gotta get the other side of the wrist pin, you know, where that goes. Just put some in there. And then, you know, you'll have plenty on your fingers. Get your rod and put some in there. Okay, after you have assembly lube on everything, um, you can just put everything in place. Now, I don't know if this matters, but I've been orienting my rods and my pistons in the same way. So on your piston, there's going to be a mark somewhere on the top that you know shows you where the front is. On Wysico pistons, there's a dot and there's a thing that says forward, I guess, um, and that's going to point to the front of the engine. Now we have that on your piston, on your rod. There's got to be a mark somewhere. On Eagle rods, they have their logos like you know, kind of painted on or something and uh, I've been matching that up with the forward mark on the piston so we're gonna put this rod in this way so line this all up um, actually put the wrist pin in first it kinda makes it a little bit easier and then line up your rod See, it should be fairly easy to do this. So, if you're having any trouble, um, kind of back up and check everything again. Should work. Rod, wrist pin. It's weird, wrist pin and piston like rhyme perfectly. All right, there you go. Slid in perfectly. Hit the retaining clip on the other side. 
Now we just gotta put a retaining clip on this side. Same way as before, um, take the open end, push that in. It's a lot harder when your hands are all greasy. Alright, and then push in the back, you hear the snap, and your piston and rod have been assembled. And that's about it. Just kind of clean off everything, get the grease off your hands, and now you can, uh, Put them on your crankshaft. Alright, and there you have it. There are your pistons completely installed. I mean, uh, put together. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, I'm going to make a video on how to install your crank into your engine and then obviously attach these to your crank. And then at that point, the bottom end will be completely assembled and you'll know how to assemble a bottom end. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying tuned. Please check out the Facebook page. There's actually two things on Facebook. There's a Project Garage, like I guess fan page, uh, but there's also a Project Garage group, and the group is cool because it's kind of like a forum, and you can post any questions or comments or anything on there, and you know, there's like maybe 30 or so people on there, and you know, the, the bigger we grow, the more people will join that. And it's kind of like a cool little community to get any questions answered or kind of share your project. Anyway, thanks for staying tuned. Thanks for the continued support. And please watch out for the next video on how to install a crankshaft into your block. Thanks again, guys.